when I was in college for the first time, I got a little bit ahead of myself and I made the decision to sign up for a, an advanced chemistry class despite the fact that I had never taken a chemistry class before. I thought, you know, I have a lot of background in other sciences and I was able to pass the test to get into the class in the first place. And so I said, all right, I'll go for it. I'll take the more advanced class and I'll challenge myself. And I am a big believer in the fact that challenging yourself is a great thing to do and an important thing to do. But sometimes you challenge yourself too much. And in this instance, that is definitely what happened. I ended up um, failing the class, or at least to me, what felt like failing. I got a C minus. That was a really difficult thing for me to, to do, was to, to have my first semester in college to get what I considered to be a failing grade. I petitioned the college to allow me to retake the class the next semester and to replace the grade. And in addition to that, I went and searched out for additional resources and tools that I could use to be successful, not just in that class, but in all of my college classes. I looked for a chemistry tutor and I changed the way that I took notes and things like that to make sure that I was giving myself all of the advantages, that I wasn't just challenging myself needlessly, that I was challenging myself, but also giving myself the skills and tools to actually rise up and meet that challenge. Well, I think it's so important to talk about those failures, especially when it comes to academics because, and in STEM in particular, because a lot of STEM students like me will enter into it and they'll have an experience like that where they are struggling. And a lot of times it can be really easy to look at that struggle and to experience it and say, I'm not cut out for STEM. It's not that you're not cut out for STEM, it's not that you're not good at STEM subjects or that you're not gonna be successful in the future in STEM. It's that you're facing something new and challenging for the first time and that you might not have the skills and tools that you need in order to be successful. And a lot of those skills and tools are not STEM specific. They're things like learning how to take tests, how to manage your time properly. All of these kinds of life skills are what we, we call them that if you don't have them, you might struggle. And it doesn't mean that you're bad at STEM. It means that you're lacking the support around you in order to do your best at STEM. I'm Abby Harrison, or as I'm often known online, Astronaut Abby. I aspire to be an astronaut. I'm the founder and president of the Mars Generation nonprofit, a pilot, a public speaker, an author, and now a research scientist at Harvard Medical School.